Hello, I am in Mexico. Uh, I have come to Mexico with my mum for her 60th birthday. Um, and so I thought I'd bring you along with us. We flew in first to, we flew in from London to Mexico City and then flew straight on to Puerto Vallarta, which is where we are now, which is on the Pacific coast, Mexico's Pacific coast. It's kind of a beach resort kind of town. Um, so we've come here for a few relaxed days before we go and get into some of the bigger cities in Mexico. Ago, starting with Guadalajara. I've had very little sleep um, because I can't really sleep very well on planes um, so I'm feeling quite out of it but I went for lunch today um, by myself because I was hungry when my mum wasn't hungry um, and I went to this little place and had this delicious goat stew um, and it was just amazing, <laughs> so amazing to try proper Mexican food for the first time ever. So I think we'll be taking it easy for these first few days but tomorrow we are going whale watching. to go out into the Pacific Ocean to find some humpbacks. That's my mum. Um, yes, edit me out. <laughs> she apparently doesn't want to be in it. Okay. Well, I don't mind. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go and find a boat to find some humpbacks. I'm very excited. find is broken so I have no idea if you can see them or not. Um, it is our last full day here at Puerto Vallarta on the Pacific coast of Mexico in the state of Jalisco and um, I don't know if I've told you much about what we've been doing while we were here it's hard to remember because I have been so tired. Um, the journey getting here and sleeping since I've been here has not been great but I've still been having a wonderful time. Um, the first day we landed we then napped and then we went out into uh, the Zona Romantica which is like the centre of town um, for dinner and walked along the Malecon. It was really really lovely. Um, there's, you can't reach my road, you have to get here by boat. So we got the water taxi uh, over. It took like half an hour. And now we're here, and I've come not very far away from where we are sitting with all the like restaurants and the food and stuff. And there's no one here. I think you can see them back there. And it's like beautiful pale waters and 
It's so chill. My mum and I are terrible at relaxing on holiday. <laughs> We're very much like city break, go, 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 then people are always going to do something. So, we've got to like, teach ourselves to enjoy being in paradise, kind of. Um, like, surrounded by mountains, forest, and there is this town kind of on the other side, but I don't think you can get much of it from the beach. I think you'd have to get like another boat round. Um, I've got my feet in the Pacific. I, we went to Peru last year, but I don't think I ever put my feet in the Pacific. Um, while we were there. yesterday we went to the beach um, and it was really really nice it was quite extensive boat trip but it was nice to go to the beach haven't done something holiday like that in a very long time today the only thing we have done is checked out of our hotel in Puerto Vallarta and got the bus here to Guadalajara um, it looks really cool outside so I'm very excited to start exploring Guadalajara but right now I have a horrible headache really bad. Um, so I've taken some ibuprofen, I've covered my head and forehead and I'm going to drink a lot of water and lie down for half an hour. But I did just want to show you our hotel room whilst my mum isn't here and it is still light. So I'll take you around the hotel room. We have twin beds, um, obviously. The thing that I really want to show you is our wee balcony. A little place to sit and there's just the old dome outside our door. You see it over Guadalajara. So you see that dome there, that one, not the white point of it, but the yellow dome just behind it. That is La Catedral, the main cathedral in La Plaza Mayor uh, de Guadalajara. So uh, we are really close to the central town. And yeah, this is our cute little historic hotel. You can see some other people's balconies and the pool as well. We're going to the Museo Pantheon de Belén, which is a folk art museum, just down that way. Um, but it's not it's not open yet, so we're in a park here. Tell me how briefly I'm not online. Mum's looking up plants. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go this museum now. El mar va empujando a las olas al we had a walking tour of Guadalajara which was really good my feet nearly died um, I felt very exhausted afterwards but it was nice to be shown around the center of Guadalajara to learn some of the history and stuff Miedo, ya no hay vuelta 
atrás El agua corre, el agua sana y la vida te da Agua salpica y purifica y del cielo cae El agua une a todos, no da vida y We are getting ready to go out this evening to Tlaquebaque, which is a town within the like metropolitan era, area of Guadalajara. And it's um, like a miniature, um, is it Pueblos Magicos? Like magic town. Um, so it's sort of traditional indigenous um, artisans live there and work there. And we're gonna go and hopefully see some mariachis. I have the sniffles. I have some sort of cold situation going on, uh, but I don't feel too unwell, I just sound unwell and I am sniffly. I feel like shit but uh, we came to Guanajuato yesterday on the bus and walked around the town oh hang on my mum's just got back we didn't really know what to expect of the city um, and it's got all these tunnels everywhere because it's built into a mountain There were these, oh god, I did look it up. They're called, they're called Callejoneadas because they wander around the alleyways or Callejon of Guanajuatos singing and they're dressed up like it's the 16th century. Um, and it's a tradition that comes from Spain um, and they are mostly students or traditionally students doing it to make a little extra money. Um, and it was so much fun too, like it was a really fun surprise. Um, like I, I read about them just before we went out but I didn't know how you got on to, to seeing them and all that sort of thing.
Then we went to a rooftop bar, um, which was also really lovely overlooking the whole city. Um, I had a couple of mezcal cocktails, which were dangerously easy to drink. Um, and it was really lovely. So, Guanajuato is the birthplace of Diego Rivera, who is the famous muralist. Um, and so his house, the house where he was born, is here. Um, and there is some of his art there and things. So we're going to go to that museum today. But first... Mm -hmm. 